Hi guys, how are you doing? We have to continue from where we stopped. And here we have the accounts interface. Um, at least it makes more sense after we've added the, the other fields, extra fields, um, to create an account. I'm trying to pull this by the right. Uh, we don't want people to be able to create an account. So one example we have to do is to make sure that the user ID is unique on the account table. And that was a tiny little... Um, uh, oversight we had when we were creating this. This is the database. If we go to database folder, we need to, um, we're trying to modify the database a little. So if we come here, we can see, um, not on the factories, on the migration. Um, I'm going to pull this. Um, we're looking for the accounts. Accounts table. We want to make sure that there's a restriction on the database that one user cannot have more than one account. So on the user ID, we're going to make sure that it's unique. Unique. We would have done this before we ran our, our platform, our um, PHP Artisan Migrate. Uh, but now we have to go to the database manually and fix this. All right. Another example of something uh, we have to fix is um, I made the typographic error here. Withdraw well, so this is going to be a withdrawal method. So we're going to have to go back to once you change any field here, there are a couple of places you need to go and um, adjust, touch up a little. Uh, the first place is in the models. If we go to models and um, under accounts, look at its accounts. We're going to look for that. What we just changed is called withdrawal. Well. Uh, look at it. Withdrawal well. should be withdrawal well method. And uh, we do the same for here, withdrawal. And then finally, for here, withdrawal. Good. Then we do the same thing for after the units fixing the model, we have to fix the repositories account, re account repository. So on account repository, we'll fix the, the spelling of withdrawal. And um, that's it. So whenever you want to adjust any any um whatever field you have to adjust it in all these three then you have to go to your database tool and adjust it so we're going to go to the database so a quick login and uh we're on the qr codes table so what we're basically looking for is the accounts table so uh, we'll click on the account structure so the structure will look for the withdrawal uh click on change so we simply change the spelling and withdrawal is not the only thing we change. We need to make the account unique. So we need to make the user ID field. Click on change. I think more would have done it. Pull to the right. Um, attributes on sign. Um, the sentence is not here, sorry. So we'll go back to the account table, we'll click on structure. So when you click on structure, you come to this stream, you see more. You see the way uh, all the things you can perform, all the actions you can perform. We're looking to make it unique. So the reason it's going to be unique is that we don't want any other record, any two records having the same user ID on this table. Uh, we want our database to reject it, all right? And we've already set it in the... Uh, in the um, migrations all right now that that is done let's use the remaining time in this video to fix um other things for instance we don't want uh people to be able to create a new um account we don't want that to happen so we're gonna go to resources and delete the add new resources accounts and we're looking at index index and then we're looking at this top let me pull this and um, what just happened accounts index cool so if you look at this line this is the line that says look at it is the line that says add new you see so I'm going to remove it everything here add new save and we're good we we'll reload and it's gone so the next thing we have to do is to remove some of the things we don't need. Everything about bank details need to go. So we have to go to the table. Everything about um, withdrawal method, bank account, 
other details need to go. So we're starting from total credit, total debit, withdrawal method needs to go, withdrawal method, enter. So all we just have is user ID balance, total credit, and um, I think that sorts it out. We'll reload here. And really, why didn't anything change? Nothing changed because. So, um, mine didn't work because um, my file was having conflict because of what I did. So, if I do um, compare, so yours should work um, normally, but mine didn't work. So, I'm just gonna copy what do we do. So it's just a thing with my ID. So click on resolve. Conflict. So I resolved. So it's so that if I save it now and go and check. So it's a thing with my ID because I first created the page. Remember what happened in the last video? We discovered that uh, we forgot some fields. Then we had to go back and recreate. All right. Um, in the next video, we have to display the user, the username of the owner. You understand? Instead of the ID. So which means we're coming here to remove the ID. And then uh we also i don't really think we need the country and um, what else of course the action only admin can see this list of accounts by the way so we're gonna have to add it into the the routes on the admin middleware so that um, only admin can have access to it but see you in the next video